Hi YouTube, today I'm gonna open up the NXG Umarax APX Multi-Pump Air Rifle. Here's the front of the box. And here's the back of the box. Okay, before I open it, I wanna tell what this is. So this is the first video I've done of a BB gun that's like an actual sniper air rifle kind of gun. But the cool thing about this one is it's awesome because it can shoot BBs and pellets. And before I shoot it, I'm actually gonna be shooting pellets today and I'll show you what they are compared to BBs. Let's just open it now. And first you're gonna get the actual gun and it's actually a really light gun, which is nice because that means you can run fast with it. Basically this whole gun is all plastic except for the barrel, which is metal, and the chin rest, which is made out of rubber. And they made it out of rubber, so when you put your chin on it, it's comfortable. It has a rail up here, and it has a built-in iron sights. And in case you don't want the iron sights, it comes with a sniper scope. Now this scope is just something that you use with a screwdriver, and you mount it on the rail anywhere you want right here. You could put it like back here somewhere, and you can adjust it anywhere on the rail you want for how close your head is. And it should be comfortably where whenever you aim down the scope, you don't aim like this with your eye in the scope. You aim with your head about three inches away from the scope, about this far. Here is a manual on how to use the scope. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the scope and all the parts on it. So first we have the mount clamp screws. Here's the scope clamp screw. Here's the eyepiece looking ring. Here's this whole thing is the eyepiece. And here are the windage and elevation adjustments. So it basically just fits on back here like this. And next we have this bag. And inside this bag, you'll see a piece of paper that shows you safety rules with the gun. This shows you other products they make. So here's the actual owner's manual or the operation manual. Now, Whenever I show you how this gun actually works, when I'm gonna shoot it, I have this target here. I'm not gonna talk, talk much about, but I'm not gonna really do a review on this. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of it because this is the target I'm gonna be shooting. So there's a like a bird here. A, I think it's a rat. If you know what this is, type it in the comment section below. Um, there's a squirrel here. And this one has a chipmunk. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you how to put the scope on. First you're gonna take your screwdriver and unscrew this one. Okay, so once you've unscrewed the screws on the scope and you fit it on the place where you want it, you can just screw it back on. There. And then you have a scope on it. This scope's actually kinda cool. I actually kind of like this scope. So next I'm gonna show you how to load the gun. I need my ammo, I left it in there. Okay YouTube, I'm back, and this is actually the ammo I'm going to be using when I'm shooting this gun. I'm not going to be using BBs, I'm going to be using pellets. And this is what a pellet is. So that's my box of pellets. And this is a pellet. So here's the similarities of a pellet and a BB. They're both really similar because they're both made of metal and they're both really small. But the difference is a pellet is a different shape from a BB. So how you load it is basically what you do is you pull this back and then take the pellet or a BB and just put it in right here. And then you're gonna push this forward and I'm not gonna actually load it for real right now because I don't want to shoot it, but then after you do that, you'd push this forward and you'd pump it about, I'd say five times. You can pump it more if you want, but the only thing is do not pump it more than 10 times. 
if you pump it more than 10 times, then it will break. It will get too much air. And once you've done that, you put it on fire and pull the trigger. Okay, now I'm ready to shoot it. Okay, so I'm gonna be shooting that target right there. And I'm gonna be trying to hit the bird's wing. So first, by pellet. Make sure it's on safety when you're doing this. Now, take off the caps on your sniper scope. Okay, I'm gonna be shooting that bird's wing. So aim, take off safety, and then pull the trigger. Let's see if I hit it. I hit it right in here. I hit right here. So I was aiming right here and I hit right here. So that means I either need to aim a little bit high or adjust my scope, which I'd rather adjust my scope. Okay, so I really wanted to try this without the scope, so I'm gonna use the iron sights and take the scope off. So I've taken off the scope, and now I'm gonna try it with it using the iron sights. It'd be cool if this had a tripod. Let's see what I hit. Okay. That was a lot better. So, both times I was aiming right in this gray circle. With the scope, I hit down here. Without the scope, I hit up here. So I did way better than I did with the scope. So what I need to do is I need to take the iron sights and adjust it. Okay, so after all, I've decided to use the scope and try one more time. I have no idea where I'm hit. I know I hit the box somewhere. Oh, I hit right here on the edge. Okay, let's try again. I hit right here. I did better. First time I hit here. Second time I hit here. Third time I hit here. Fourth time I hit right here. So I did better. Okay, so it's getting kind of light and I'm not gonna shoot anymore because I wanna do another video today. But as you see, I'm getting better. But to hit it exactly in the right spot every time, I'm gonna need to practice a little more. So that's the end of the video. And if you wanna see any other videos of BB guns, Nerf, or any other fun videos, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, peace out.